a lift elevator. or something? We need to find some way Does to... Does it work? Punch through the ground. We need something big. Like what? Explosives. Wouldn't that make it worse? Right <laughs> Open. And what did it do? I'm supposed to walk 30 minutes a day on a treadmill or outside with an escort. But they're kind of short on personnel because of that thing that happened at the mine. Oh. So maybe if there was a volunteer willing to help. It's like, it's like I woke up in some strange land. Is there anything Sorry, coming kid. back? What about when you're with her? You remembered your dog? Yeah, I lied. You did? She's just so loving. I didn't want to disappoint her. None of it feels real. Actually, one thing does feel real. You. What? I know it's crazy, but I swear you're the only thing in this whole place that feels... that feels right. Married. Even if it was to the wrong person, he's still married. Catherine. This isn't helping. If we knew exactly where they were, we could drill down to them. Mongo was trying to give you all maybe, some uh, Maybe rig something to bring them here. back up. Let's go away. Come on, buddy. What are you thinking? It's Archie's dog. He's found something. <laughs> It's an air shaft. Anyway, I, I, I didn't mean those things I said, and I, I never should have said them. Mm. Why did you? Maybe your mom? I guess I'm just not a very good person. No, nah, I think you're a good person. I'm not the man I want to be. <laughs> so, what's next? I'm gonna have to go down there somehow. I think you can be him. I think you can be a good person. I mean, you're Jiminy Cricket. Henry, Henry, Jiminy Cricket was a, he was a cricket, okay? And he was a conscience, and, and, and I hardly think that's me. But before he was that, he was a guy who took a long time to figure out the right thing to do. Now it's harder for you because of the curse to hear the voice inside of you, to be, who you want to be? I've got a harness. Lower me down. Oh, no way. I'm going. He's my son. You've been sitting behind a desk for 10 years. I can do this. Just bring him to me. I thought if I found proof, but I didn't find anything. Well, that's not true. I was lost and you found me, right? You mean you remember? No, I, I, I don't remember, but. I do remember the kind of person I want to be. I just gotta listen harder. You guys okay? Yeah, we're, we're okay. Hang on, Henry. I got him. Is he safe? Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, god. He's gonna fall! I'm sorry! It's okay! Oh, no! Thank God for that umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Deputy, you can clear the crowd away. I'm being such a bitch. Work for her, you wouldn't even have him right now. I'm gonna continue to treat Henry. And I'm gonna do it my own way. My relief at his safety hasn't changed a thing, Dr. Hopper. You will do as I say, or you- Or what? You'll ruin my life? You'll do your worst? Because I will always do my best. Don't test me. Oh, I don't need to, because you're gonna leave me alone and let me do my work in peace. Really, why is that? Because someday, Madam Mayor, you may find yourself in a custody battle. And you know how the court determines who is a fit parent? 
They consult an expert, particularly one who has treated the child. I suggest that you think about that and you allow me to do my work and let me do it the way my conscience tells me to. Good for you, Archie. Put her in her place. I wish. I hear your wish. You don't need to wish it so loudly. I cannot bring back the boy's parents. What's done is done. There may be another way. Tell me, please. The little boy, he will grow up to face many challenges. Do you want to help him? I can't get away from these people. They're my parents. They're who I am. But if you didn't want to be that, what would you like to be? Cricket. I hear your wish. That's how Jiminy became a cricket. How do you feel? Find the boy, Jiminy. You will live as many years as you need to help him. Just find him. His name is Geppetto. Is that Archie's father? No, they're just old friends. Hey, There's crickets. listen. Crickets. We're back. Things are changing. <laughs> She's just like, oh no. <laughs> Those poor people. Stop volunteering. Since she doesn't see David. What have you been hiding down there? Snow White's coffin? A glass one the dwarves made for her? Alright, I gotta make this quick because I gotta go. But, um, yeah, so that was the end of episode five. And uh, this was a really good episode. We got to see um, Jiminy's background and how he became the cricket. Um, also, trying to deal with, he was trying to be a better person um but he just felt like he couldn't um he was threatened by regina um to make henry stop thinking what he thinks you know about her it's just like i'm like he can just snap his fingers and poof you know henry doesn't think that you're this evil person anymore i mean it's just so unrealistic for her to expect that you know and um I felt bad for him when he was like saying the things that she wanted him to say to Henry um, because he didn't want to, he didn't want to do that. And he felt like he didn't have a choice, but to do that. Um, and then, you know, because he did that, Henry decided that, you know, he had to prove to everybody that what he's been saying is true. So he went in the mines because he thought there was something in there um, that would prove it to everybody, and, um, he got stuck in the process, um, along with Archie, and, uh, you know, Henry was kind of, like, kind of like the conscience for Jiminy. Sorry, my alarm is going off. Let me know I'm out of time. Um, you know, guiding him you know, in the direction he needed to go to be what he wants to be. And uh, Henry got him to realize that, you know, he needs to just listen to himself and, uh, you know, do what he feels is right. And uh, luckily, everybody made it out alive. 
and Archie stood up to Regina, which I loved. I love that he finally stood up to her and put her in her place. And uh, that was just really great. Um, it was really sad what happened to Geppetto's parents. It was not supposed to happen that way. But, you know, things happen. Bad things happen to good people all the time. They were pretty dumb. Honestly, to fall for a couple of strangers, like, like their story, like, they're creepy looking. If somebody like that came to my home, one, I wouldn't let them in. And two, you know, even if I did let them in and then they told me this outrageous story about elf tonics and stuff, I don't know, I guess being in the fairy tale world, you know, maybe that stuff's more common. Um... But I don't know. I just think that they were easily manipulated. And I think they deserve to be turned into dolls because they didn't. But, you know, them getting pretty much robbed of all their items and stuff, they kind of kind of brought that part on themselves because they were so easy to believe what strangers were telling them. So that was really sad. But I'd like to know how their his parents even knew he had this tonic. Like, how did they even know? Uh, yeah, so it turns out that the little boy who, um, helped, like, gave him the umbrella, um, was their son, and, uh, it was Geppetto, so he kind of, when he became a cricket, I guess, decided to guide Geppetto in his life to, uh, try to make things easier on him, lead him in the right path, um, type of thing. And it turns out they were old friends. They've been old friends. Even in this world, they're old friends. So that was really nice. Um, Emma is officially a deputy in the story work, which is what caused the mind collapse to begin with, I guess. I mean, that's just what they made it seem like. And, uh, yeah, so Regina didn't know anything about it, apparently. It didn't look, doesn't look like it. She looked kind of pissed off at Graham for hiring Emma. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and my, and my thing, uh, and it's not important, but um, the dog, Archie's dog, Pongo, um... I said in episode one that at first, when I first saw him, saw Archie and the dog, I thought it was like 101 Dalmatians because of, of the dog is like an obvious sleep um, when it comes to fairy tale stuff. But not that 101 Dalmatians is necessarily a fairy tale thing. But anyway, I just thought it was like 101 Dalmatians. And then I found out that he's actually Jiminy Cricket. So I just kind of put that out of my mind. But it's funny that the dog's name is actually Pongo, which was what the male dog's name was in the movie so anyway um yeah so anyway i really enjoyed it i hope you guys enjoyed my reaction if you did please give this video a like if you have any suggestions on anything you'd like me to react to please leave that down below and i will see you guys in the next one bye